Joaquin Clifford says he considers himself both a fish geek and a business guy. I love making fishing lures. It's my passion. It's been since I was a kid. And it's been a dream of mine to someday open my own lure company. Soon, his dream may become a reality. He's starting his own lure company. But here's the catch. He'll be selling 3D printed, biodegradable fishing lures instead of real bait. The long-term goal of this project is to have an online interface where people can build their own lures and share them, much like people make and share music on iTunes. If there are any questions about if his 3D product is the real deal, well, the legitimacy speaks for itself. 3D printed fishing lures, the proof is in the catch. Proof that 3D printing is beginning to disrupt various industries. Catching real fish with fake bait is just the beginning. From printing custom organs to full cities, 3D printing is a whole new world. According to TechCrunch.com, consumer spending on 3D printers will hit over $400 million by the end of 2013. It will have the most impact on industrial and manufacturing industries. It's easy, affordable, and all you really need is an imagination. You can come up with an idea or concept and, and within hours have it not only drawn up, but have something in your hand, a three-dimensional item that you thought about or you know, wanted to make. So how does it work? Users design their object on the computer. The printer then heats up PLA material to build the project one layer at a time. You're starting with, with nothing and building up exactly what you need and what you want. 